I'm Don Denbo, I'm the mayor of Corsicana, and I'm here to read you this book, and it's called, entitled, Splat the Cat. Okay, and what we see on the front of this book are Splat's jobs that his parents told him to do. One is to make the bed. Some of you have already said you did that. Some second thing is put toys away. Some of you do that. And the third thing is water the plants. And we said that the plant that, that Splat waters is called a what? Is a sunflower. Now we have the parents saying, okay, we're having a family meeting. Splat's father called from upstairs. The dad said, we're a very busy family. We all need to pitch in because why? There's work all around the house, right? Every day. So I've made a list of daily to-dos for you to check off each day. How many, do you, anybody have a to-do list? Okay, your parents tell you what to do and ask you to do those things for them, right? Splat and Seymour went back to playing their game. After a half hour, Seymour pointed to, to the to-do list. We can do them later, Splat replied. In other words, he didn't do those duties right off, did he? He went off into his playing with Seymour. What, is that good or bad? Yeah. That's not good because he's supposed to be doing his duties on his to-do list. Sure. New rule, Mom declared. No television or video games until everything is checked off your list. Ah, oh, Splat Mo. Splat went to his room. It was a total mess. Let's get this over with so we can get back to our game, Seymour, he said. So look at all, look at his room. What, what's wrong with that? Yeah, it's kind of dirty, isn't it? You got toys on the floor, the bed's not made. So what did Splat do? He made his bed. And he put away his toys. And then he watered his plant. What kind of plant was that? Sunflower. Sunflower, okay. All done, Splat said proudly. Is this really your best, Dad said, shaking his head. But it will take forever, whined Splat the cat. Okay, so you know how they say that time flies when you're having fun? Splat's dad said, Splat nodded, he sure did, so make it fun. Splat decided to try. This time when Splat made his bed, he imagined he was fishing in the ocean. His pillow turned into a giant shark and everything else on the floor became a different fish or sea monster. When he cleaned up his toys, Splat imagined that he was a pirate. Each toy was a jewel or gold coin, and his toy box was a treasure chest. When he watered his plant, he pretended he was a jungle explorer. Look what he's doing. He's got all this mixed, this apparatus here, and he's pouring water in one end, and it's dripping onto the plant there. So that he, he's watering the plant by imagining himself as an inventor. That's why it's so good. It is a good thing. All done, said Splat. Great job, Splat, Splat's dad said. Now you can play your video game, added his mom. And all, look at his room, the bed is made. As Splat sat down to play his video game, he noticed a few things that needed to be put away. I'll be right back, Seymour, he said. I've got to go on a quick Arctic expedition. He never imagined helping out could be so much fun. So he found fun in those those chores and tasks that he had to do because he imagined himself being a fisherman when he was making up his bed, an inventor when he was watering the plant, and so on. Yes. So, hey, if you imagine yourself in a different place sometimes, it's fun, right? Yeah. All right. Well, did you like this book? Yeah! Okay. Splat the cat. Splat the cat. Okay. All right. Thank you.